Welcome to section 4 where we're going to be talking about game physics. In this section we're going to take a look at what physics body is and how to create two different types of physics body. We're going to learn about the dynamic and the gravity properties of a physics body. We're going to learn about collision and contact between two physics bodies. We're going to learn how to receive notification whenever there is a contact between two physics bodies. And finally we're going to learn how to implement a delegate function to remove a node when a contact is made between two physics bodies. Introduction to physics body. In this video, we're going to take a look at what an SK physics body is and how to create an SK physics body and set its property. SK physics body is an object that adds physics simulation to a node. Once a physics simulation is applied to a node, calculations such as gravity, friction, collision applied to the node to simulate a real world object. In summary, every XK sprite node has a property called physics body. And if we set the value for this physics body, that body we have like a real world simulation such as gravity, friction, collision, so they will be able to collide. If you look at the game in the current implementation, you can see that the cat and the ball, they don't collide. Normally they're supposed to collide, um, but because we haven't set the physics body property. That is why the ball and the cat, they don't have any interaction whatsoever. So this is where we have to set the physics body property so that we can simulate collision, friction, and so on and so forth. Let's head over to Xcode to see how to apply the physics simulation to a node. So this is where we stopped the last time. Let's run our code to see exactly what we have. So in a real world, when the ball eats the cat, the ball is supposed to bounce off the cat. But because we don't have physics body property set on the cat or the ball, that is why there's no interaction between the cat and the ball. So let's do that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set the physics body property on the ball. So whenever the ball is created and before it's added, I'm going to say ball dot physics body equals to SK physics body. And it has many initializers, the one that we're going to be using because our ball is circle. So we want to create an SK body. Think about the SK body as something that wraps around the SK sprite node. So the SK physics body is going to wrap around our node and it's going to be a circle. So I'm going to make it the same radius as of the circle. So our circle radius will be ball dot size dot width divided by two. So if we divide the width of the ball by two, we're going to get the radius. So it's going to create a circle, which is going to be of the same size as the ball. Before I run the code, what I will do is I will comment out this function that had the background. And the reason is because when you set a physics body on any node, it has border around it. And the border is nearly the same color as the background I'm using. So you will not be able to see it. So by disabling this background and running the code, then we should be able to see the border around the physics body. So let's wait and then start our game. So now the background is black and we still didn't see anything on the ball. So there's nothing visible on the ball. And the reason why is because by default, our physics are not shown in our game. So if you go to the view controller and then set the SK view, set the show physics this will show all the physics in your game and then set that to true this is false by default so we also want to show the physics so if we should run it now we should be able to see that there's a border around our ball so let's start the game you're not seeing this border right now because it's very thin but if you look at on top of the cat when the ball passes on top of the cat you can see the border in order to make that border slightly larger than the ball so what I would do is I was had, for example, five. So this means that the physics body is going to be larger than the size of the ball so that we can see exactly the physics body that is added on the ball. Okay, so now you can see that we have a physics body set on the ball. The next thing to do now is to set the physics body on the cat. Okay, so where's the cat? We had in the cat here. So I'm going to say cat node dot physics body equals to SK physics body. The kind of physics body that I want to create now is different because 
our cat is not a circle so we want to create a rectangle so i'm going to choose this one that's a rectangle of cg size and i'm going to pass cat node dot size so it's going to be the same size as our cat so let's run that but pay a close attention remember i said that every time you set the physics property you simulate the real world that means the cat is going to have gravity attached to it so that means the cat is going to fall off you can see that the cat has disappeared because the cat now has gravity attached to it in the next video we're going to be looking at how to fix the problem so that the cat doesn't disappear in this video we learn what an sk physics body is and how to create a circular and a rectangular physics body we also learn how to add a physics body to our sprite node